What's up guys? So we're gonna do something a little different today. Today I'm at the at the shop. Um, I'm gonna be working on my Mustang. Some of you guys have seen it, some of you guys haven't. Um, this is my, my Mustang. It's a 2016 Mustang GT 5.0. Um, I use it for drag racing mainly. Um, it's turboed. I just got my turbo back from getting uh, rebuilt. So we're gonna put it in. It's a bitch to put this turbo in, so I'm not looking forward to it, but I gotta do it. So I'll show you guys what I do and how I put it in. And so first things first, I took the exhaust housing off the turbo. I'm gonna go mount it up to the flange. Um, I did that because it's a bitch to get to the bolts. Those bolts really gotta be tightened down pretty, pretty tough, and uh, it's a bitch to get to it when the whole turbo is intact. So now that I got all the bolts through it, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them. Put the car in the air. Put the wastegates back on. And then put the the front half of the turbo. I'll give you guys info on the turbo. It's a uh, it's a precision turbo. It's a eighty millimeter. It's an eighty millimeter turbo. Um, it was custom built by uh, Pure Turbos down here in San Diego. I had a precision. It was a seventy six seventy five that broke. Um, the guys at Pure Turbo put new uh, turbine wheel, new compressor wheel, billet compressor wheel, a new uh, new shaft, and they send it to me. So should be good for around 1,100. So we'll see. We'll see what it does. All right, guys. So I got the charge pipe on. It goes into there to the intercooler like that. This is kind of lined up. So I'll put this uh, V band on there. That's gonna lock that one. And once I lock that up how I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and lock up the the housing so it doesn't move at all. That's tight. Turbo spin freely. Put them in the way. I'm gonna go ahead and tie these up. All right, guys. So we're now we're under the car. Um, that's where the waste gates are gonna go right here. So yeah, we're gonna put them on. That's an intercooler. Big fat ass intercooler. My trans cooler, no e brake, trans cooler, no exhaust, wheel screws. I love working on this car because there's nothing down here, so it's also easy. Boost controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap those wastegates in. The wastegates are, uh, have dual. Turbo Smart 45s have two of them. I right, so I went ahead and installed the wastegate. There they are. One dump comes out here, the other one out here. Sometime this week, we'll throw her on the dyno and see how much power she's making. Thank you guys for watching, man. Appreciate it. See you guys next time.